I mean, look, bro, you already know how this shit be, bro. You already know, like, most of people be fucking around and da 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 What the hell I'm talking about, bro? <laughs> What's up, y'all? You already know we got another video going on, 250 Gang. You already know, bro. The life of a lot lizard. The story of Monroe Sweets. I think Shawty, yo. A star. I think she want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all like, I'm subscribing. Let's get to this VT, yo. Myself, I had to sleep with 14 people that day for a low amount. Huh? What? Huh? What'd you just say? Myself, I had to sleep with 14 people that day for a low amount. Okay, um, first off, God help me, help me, okay, okay, oh God, bro, how we gonna do this one, bro, it's always the hoes, bro, it's always the hoes, bro, it's always the hoes, <laughs> it's tough, I gotta get out of that. Oh, Full amounts of money. Here. Myself, I had to sleep with 14 people that day for low amounts of money. It ruined me. After the 14th, it was every day of my life sleeping with 14 to 30 men every day, going to different <sighs> parts of Tennessee, walking the streets, being forced to do them and make that money. It was 2009 in the summertime. I was promoted to work at the truck stop, the TA, the TA truck stop. That's when I became a lot lizard. That's what they call them. The goal was to walk around the truck stop in a circle and uh, whatever truck driver wants to see, they'll flash the lights. I worked there for a year. I was raped at the truck stop several times. I was beat up. I had to recruit women. I don't know if you know the term of choosing up, but my job was to take another woman from their p by telling lies about my p saying, He's a good daddy. You get off days and they'll ch Oh my God, what the hell is I'm watching? This shit is porn. This shit is porn, bro. Man, this whole first minute, bro, I, I, I really don't know what the hell is going on, bro. I really don't. Talking about 14 to 30 getting raped and all this and this things of this nature, bro. Like, hold on. I need I wanna look this girl up, bro. I wanna look her up. Somebody in the chat, please look her up, please. Shoes up, I take their money, I give it to him, and then they'll come to the house, and those are his women now. That's what you call choosing up and uh, working at the trucks. Bro, so basically, this is sex trafficking, bro. This is sex trafficking. Like, 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 like what, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. This is sex trafficking, bro. Look at it like this. You used to get drilled by 14 to 30 minutes in one day, right? Cool. You also used to, excuse me. You also used to get raped. Cool. You used to get beat up. Cool. That's sexual abuse. And that's goddamn ain't battery charge. That's domestic violence. Too. And then on top of that. You hiring females to go work there. They pay. And then on top of that, after that, they get drilled too. Yeah, um. Take your ass back to the streets, my nigga. Stop cause more trauma to me. Because if you got robbed, don't help you. They'll say, get my money off. 
kill you. I had to do a lot of figuring out being at the truck stop. I had a lot of growing up to do. No, and I couldn't tell them man my age. They didn't care, I don't think, anyway, because they knew I was young. I wasn't even fully developed like I am now. Working a truck stop for a year caused me to be more into a point where I'm, I'm just shutting down the have already took over me. I didn't want to live no more. I was up here just hoping someone killed me. I was used. I said, nobody gonna, gonna want me. Nobody's gonna love nobody like me. I asked. I prayed. I was, I was hoping for an escape, and I thought God abandoned me. So I lost myself. And um, one on 2009, November, I'm gonna remember this for the rest of my life. His woman, the white woman, his bottom fell in love with a trick at the truck stop. She abandoned me. I was looking for her for an hour. The was calling me. He said, where the y'all at? She's planning her escape. She has his keys. She has everything. I go to the truck. The truck driver chases me with a knife and they proceed to take off. I'm telling him they about to leave. He said, if you don't get my keys, I'm a and throat. So you know what I did? I hopped on. And once he got in the car, there's a little compartment where you can hold on to where they shut the truck. I rode on the back of that hanging off because we was at exit 42. He went up to, I think, Laverne. The people at Waffle House, two guys followed me and they called the police because I was hanging on. My whole objective was to get the keys. That's it. So once he stopped, she didn't even, they didn't even know I was hanging on the back of the truck. We rolled for about a mile and a half. It was cold uh, and I held on. As soon as it opened up, I punched her in the face. I got the keys. The police was there. It was a whole bunch of going down. I hurried up. The people met me there and he congratulated me for getting his keys, the money. He said he didn't even want the he was like, I can't believe you rode on a truck. He was like, so I'm going to give you an hour off to work. So me risking my life on an 18-wheeler did absolutely nothing, but it made my job more harder. The ending part of me coming to the end, let me go back for a minute. Once that one white woman left and didn't come back, they took me to a underground bunny ranch in uh, Dallas, Texas. Believe it or not, underground bunny ranch. A lot of people are not familiar with that, but um, it's where a group of girls, about 15 girls is in there. They line up powerful people, people of power line up and come sleep with us. Because okay, we're, um, um, okay. So all this shit, basically, what I'm hearing is that from Tennessee to Texas, y'all country people, all y'all basically doing it's goddamn shit here. Yeah. One day you got them fucking each other. The next day you know you got goddamn you know lining each other up and mine 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 mine. That's all I'm hearing, bro. All I'm hearing is you know this shit is sex trafficking. Y'all got them sex trafficking at truck sites, man. Construction worker swag ass niggas, man. All I'm hearing is goddamn. Construction workers got down having drama infested, toxic infested, got down work environments with sex trafficking. See, y'all don't hear about this shit in Atlanta. That's why y'all need to come to Atlanta. Because, shot none of that shit would happen to you, you would have came to Atlanta. Like, like, nah, man. The fact that. I heard so much shit happen to you. I kind of feel bad for you. I, I dead ass, I do. But in another way, your shit got beat in so much. I already know your shit scratched in a mile away. I'm sorry. I would have looked for another job on day fucking one. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. You stayed there a full fucking year. A full year. You was getting drilled by 14 to 30 niggas for a full year. I, I can't even, bro, every day. That's 365 days. Just say, for instance, on a minimum, I'm just going to say 
Cause some of them days was thirty. So I'm just going off the flip. I'm just going to say that's about like twenty five. How much dick being inside you in a span of a year? Nine thousand one hundred and twenty. Girl, that one year alone, you literally had. 9,125 dicks that been in you, shawty. Look. Look, shawty. That is insane. You could have left that damn job, bro. Bro. It couldn't have been that fucking bad in Tennessee that they should know that. You couldn't leave that fucking job. You could have had some family members who lived there. You wasn't fully developed. So they should know at that. You probably still was like in your 20s or teens. Where was your parents? Where's your D-mother? Where's your auntie? Where's your uncle? Where's your cousins? Where's your siblings? If you have them. You couldn't have stayed with somebody for a little minute until you got another job. Shaw, do you know what the fuck you were doing? You did. You stayed there because you get some of that hat did. You getting some of that hat, D, and then on top of that, and that's, you know, because I'm sorry, bro. If a female don't want to goddamn get touched, I seen it with my own hand. They are going to get off of you one way or another, bro. So, for, these females got nigga hands nowadays, man. They're not going to just stay right here and just allow another nigga to try to fuck around and just doing they shit. They are going to put up a fucking fight. So the fact that you said 14 or 30 niggas every goddamn day, and I'm just saying off the flat, I just put the estimate, I just said 25, that's 9,125 discs that been to you, shawty. Congratulations. You was one of the biggest whores in this goddamn st state, man, in the country of the USA, man. Yeah. And I had one on the yard session. I don't get no fucks, man. That shit is sad. That shit is sad as hell. Cause you could have fucked around and did that, that shit, nigga. You say cause you was getting that hot D. And you probably a, a corn star right now, bro. So the fact that that shit, you know, this picture that shit, you know, you was one right now. You probably got like 15,000. Because I was new, I stayed there for six months. I made them a lot of money. I paid my house fee. I was the top booked girl because they knew I was underage and they paid more. Nah, you were the top booked girl because you don't know how to take dick the most, man. That's the reason fucking why. That's the fucking damn reason. Yeah, you were goddamn underage. And yeah, you probably kind of looked at the damn best. But you also the one known. You got a track record, shawty. You known for taking dick. You known for been taking dick day by day by day by day. Day by day, even on the side, you got me on take nigga in the booty, you take nigga in the cool, nigga. It's they, they know that shit, so they know off the flat, bro. If you're that green, everybody knows blue 42. <laughs> Damn, see, and getting your shit or for me. My our rewards was a phone call to our daddies and let them know the progress. That was our reward. Why you didn't call your daddy and say, Hey. Can I live with you again? Phone call to our daddies, right? Your dad's would be a hero. Why when you was in Tennessee and that shit, you know? You could just stay with him until you got another job. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta look through the bullshit, man. Y'all dead ass gotta look through the bullshit. And I'm not saying that whoever this is is retarded, but you gotta see, you gotta see through the bullshit. If you didn't like the job you was in, you could have quit on the first fucking day. Yeah, you probably national. Say for instance, you getting paid straight or whatever, man. But I rather have happy money. Like, come on, bro. Forward. And, uh, yeah, to follow rules, you couldn't step on nobody's money or anything. And I graduated, so to say. I was the highly rate book. I probably made them over $2 million. I didn't see a dime. My job was to just get dressed, wash my body. Everything was, the clients were paid to tie me up. And that's when I got concerned. 
to be tied up and hog tied. I never knew if it was going to be my last time. The final straw was December in 2000, in 2009. I was getting, I was coming back from being there. I'm back at the truck stop again. And this is where the hellish nightmare became. A client that I've seen before, he said, I want to see you. It was $1,000 on the line. So I was like, wow, $1,000. I'm going I'm to go ahead and do it. He paid me. And then he had five other people come to the truck. And I got raped. And I got beat up. Nobody, nobody used protection. They had beat me up so bad, they took my body lifeless and tied me to a pole behind one of the trucks. And they took off. It was it was winter time. A white woman found me and called the police. That was the final straw for me. The problem is the healing aspect. When you've been stuck on drugs for so long and I didn't see no value in myself. I, I didn't want to live no more. I didn't want to see the value. I didn't have a value. I was ran through. I felt like the scum of the earth and I can honestly say that to you. It changes your life and I think people need to be more understanding about their surroundings and who they allow to be around them. Cause you never know this is the darkest day of my life. Mm, okay. You felt like scum. Look what I'm saying. And then I'm gonna get out of here. You felt like scum, you might as well say you are. Because the fact that, like I said, you could have avoided all that shit. It just goes to show that you'll do anything for a dollar. They wasn't really even paying you for real. You wasn't bringing in no money for real. But you getting ran through like a motherfucker like that. What sense would that make? Like they said, what sense do that make? 14 to 30 bodies. Like I said, I'm so stuck on that. A day. How many? And then, like you said, none of them was protected. Girl, you was a walking goddamn gonorrhea, AIDS, HIV, herpes, chlamydia. All that shit, bro. Like, and that's not cool, bro. Like, and like I say, even with you, like, like you not even an ugly woman, bro, at all. But the fact that niggas know that y'all don't know how to make smart decisions for yourself, and y'all put yourself in stupid ass positions, you know what the fuck you was doing. If you didn't like it. You would have got yourself out of it. So, to be honest, that's your that's your problem. Ain't no way fans are bust about it because it's like, man, you could have got out of that shit. Like I said, I, the whole video, I was looking straight through the bullshit. Like, when, for instance, when you was talking about, I had 14 to 30 bodies. I got shipped over and this shit ain't no boom. I go to another spot. They doing the same that shit to me. They drilling me too. They drilling you too, and you still ain't trying to leave. And then on top of that, when you went to Dallas, Texas, and you getting drilled with other females, you that's the time you not even getting paid. So you getting drilled for free. And you talking about I was the highest paid. I made over two million for them. How much you got out of that shit? Ask what you had said. Zero. So basically, you're getting drilled for free, and they're making two million off of you. It just goes to show that shot you have no morals or no standards for yourself whatsoever, and it's it's kind of sad, but shit, that's how I look at it. If you don't give a fuck, why should I? Why should I? Why should we? Cause you ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't care when they were. Yeah. 
They finger licking. They finger licking good in that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, though. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold y'all here. I want to get to the 20 minute mark, though. So that's why I, did. I gave a little uh, goddamn after game. Yeah, session. But shit. I'm gonna get out of here, bro. Two of GJ, bro. Y'all like, subscribe. No doubt. Peace.